Dude, this is like a gigantic cat pot. <laughs> uh, Jacob, you're a little crappy at this. What? <laughs> Yeah, thank you. You guys? Oh, uh, just an Americana. An Americana too. Okay, great. This place is so cute. A little oh. hipster for me, but. A little, Look, a little too Sawyer. hipster? Yeah, yeah dude, hey, I like at least we're not drinking cold brew. That might be a little bit worse. <laughs> Are you guys excited for college? Oh, I'm so excited, man. I'm looking forward to every class I'm taking. Like, this never dude. happened before. Sorry. Well, you have like Bro, five music classes? That person too. Yeah, I have seven music classes dude. and then like one class that's just about like philosophy and that kind of stuff. So that's I'm super so excited. Yeah, college is all about like making your own schedule. My classes are like really ridiculous. Biology, chemistry, math, and psychology, like all higher levels. Mm -hmm. And then I have English and French. Oh my God, that's yeah. this year for you? Yeah. Hey. I wonder how they- Oh, oh hey. hey, what's up? Hi. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. Me and then, too. Hi. This is Hi, Sophia. Sophia, you guys haven't met Hi, before. Sophia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sophia. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Try not to take the table to open. Dude, I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, How I was been? in Dominican Republic. That's right, I saw like your Instagram yeah. post. How was it? It was amazing. I did so much community work. We built a park. Yeah. Like, I worked with kids and teaching them English. It was really crazy, but it was like the best experience. I loved it so much. It's really inspiring. That's really yeah. cool yeah. you could do that. That's Have so you sweet. done any work like that before? No. Oh my so God. it was like, it was such hard work. But like seeing the kids being so happy yeah. is the best thing ever. Oh my god. What have you been up to while Melania's gone? I have an internship at a radio station. Oh you No, know, I like to do fashion, so yeah. like when I'm done with that, just go home, sketch. That's really cool. I guess we'll get going, go to the fabric store. But Peace it out. Nice it's good to see you guys. Bye. Bye. Great to meet you guys. Makes me want to go like work with children now, you know? We should totally go volunteer with children. That sounds so fun. <laughs> Sophia seems so interested with the volunteer work. I hope she actually gets into it. So I found this place called Square Peg Foundation. It's mm -hmm. super, super cool. Square Peg is a nonprofit organization that uses horses for therapy for children with special needs. Not only are we gonna be able to work with children, but also we're on a ranch with horses. I'm a total animal person, I know, sorry. <laughs> I'm super hyped about it. And um, I hope you guys are too. Yeah, yeah totally. sounds awesome. But I called in a local expert, so Ooh, I think we will have expert. some help. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's man. good to see dude. you. Hey, guys. Woo, Sophia. What's hey. up, dude? Sophia like called me up and said that we we're gonna go like volunteer with horses or something. You know, it, it sounds totally up my alley. And who's this buddy? Hi, this is hi. Henry. Say hi. hi. What's up? Who was oh. the biggest? Oh, this is exciting. Oh, what's going on? All right, you guys, you want to get started? Yeah, sure. Let's All do right. it. Come on, Henry. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Henry. First, we're gonna work with the horses on the farm, and then when the kids get here, we're gonna work with them. Okay, so usually, part of working on a working farm is you have to clean up after all the horses. Yes. So, <laughs> that does involve cleaning up where they sleep. All right. So, it's pretty simple. Just take your rake, and you go into the dirt, and shake it a little bit, get all mm. the poop, and you put it in this bucket here. And Sweet. then eventually, we'll put it in a wheelbarrow, take it to a big pile, it's pretty simple. Okay. Cool. Is there is there is, is there a cool term for this I can use? Like like when I post on no okay. <laughs> I just when you uh, post it on Instagram. <laughs> this is like a gigantic cat box. Uh, Jacob, you're a little crappy at this. What? <laughs> Let's dump this muck. <laughs> Dude. How's it 
feel to be back first off? Feels really good. Yeah. I mean, I'm jumping like right back into school and everything, but. Mm -hmm. And you're at a horse farm today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's good to see you guys, you know. I know, I know, it's really nice. This is, you know, it's relaxing too right? from all the stress. I don't know actually what I expected from this, but just look at this. <laughs> it makes me want to continue doing stuff. Just volunteering. And I think it's definitely like good for every person to do every mm -hmm. now and then, you know. Exactly. It feels really good to be like disconnected from, I don't know, Instagram, Snapchat, yeah. all my stuff. Like, well, I've, I've been disconnected for the last month oh, and a yeah, half. Oh <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you feel like, I don't know, more in touch? It kind of makes you realize that like, you don't need your phone. Or, I like, know. Which you're not fun. really aware of unless you're out of it, right? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. You kind of just get to enjoy the moment instead of worrying about everything. Or, totally. Like, Worrying about how you look all the time. Exactly. You know. The reason we do trick training with the horses is uh, some of our kids are really reluctant to speak or communicate. And in doing these tricks and bringing them down to a one syllable word and a gesture, if this kid can get 1,100 pounds to do what you say. Yeah. It's really, really empowering, and it's a really good reason for the kids to start to connect. Um, and uh, and it's fun. It's fun for the horse. It's fun for the kids. You guys are going to get a big kick out of this. Yeah, yeah. So left front leg is always one. <laughs> right Hi, front leg is two. Left hind is three. Right hind is four. Okay. Yeah? OK. I never really put together that teaching a horse tricks can kind of be a way of having um, people who aren't as articulate, being able to control like a huge horse with a single word, I mean, that's really empowering and cool to think about. You ready, Stan? All right, give me one. Or, yeah, no, one. <laughs> All right, Teddy, are you ready? Give me one. Okay, this isn't the real dog. Try okay. a little lower. <laughs> give me one. Okay, that's like 24 by now. Oh, ah. there we go, what? Two. All right, ten. All right, ten. Good boy. There you go, buddy. <laughs> so when it comes to working with the kids, it's all about letting them lead the way, take initiative. So today they wanted to dress up and play tag. No, they're just coming after me. <laughs> what is that? Are those lasers? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think Square Peg has a really unique way of engaging with the children, you know what I mean? It's beyond sort of, you know, doing arts and crafts and doing a lot of structured activities. It's sort of just allowing their creativity to flow and going with what they sort of are seeing and wanting to do. Definitely meeting Jasper was a highlight of my day. That kid is so much fun, so much energy, and really good time getting to know him. Getting over my stage fright and fears around auditioning and performing is on my summer bucket list. So I'm going in right now to audition for Millennia and Xandra. 